if you have a basketball or a bouncy ball at home, you can do this follow the leader warm up with me, working on our ball handling skills. Just do the best you can. If you make a mistake, it's okay. You ready? Pause the video if you have to go get a ball. The spider is really challenging, but if you are up for the challenge, remember two taps in front and then two taps behind. I usually say front, front, back, back, front, front, back, back, and try and keep the ball bouncing in the center of your feet in the same spot over and over again. That's the trick. All right, remember our shooting skill cues? It spells the word beef. So B is for balanced feet. The first E is for elbow up. The second E is eyes on your target. And the F is your follow through, like a swan. And remember to get a nice arc on your shot, like a big rainbow. 
When you think about having balanced feet, keep your feet hip width apart and have bent athletic knees. You want to shoot the ball with your strong hand or your pencil hand. So that elbow should be directly under the ball and keep the elbow up. Keep your eyes on the back of the rim or the square on the backboard. Push the ball up to make a rainbow or an arc and then flick the wrist to make it look like a swan. Dribbling skill cues. No smacking with your palm. Use the pads of your fingers. Keep the ball below your waist so that you're in control and nobody can steal it from you. You can look down every once in a while, but keep your eyes up so that you can pass or shoot. Make sure you get your thumbs behind the ball. Bend your elbows, step to your target, and push your thumbs towards your target. So you step and push. Step to your target and push with your thumb. Bounce pass is the same way. Keep your thumbs behind the ball, step to your target, but this time instead of pushing up towards your partner's chest, you're gonna push the ball down to the ground. And then check and make sure that your thumbs are pointing down. You don't need a basketball to do any of these. You can use a soccer ball, a volleyball, you can use a small ball, you can use a rolled up sock or a rolled up piece of paper. Um, get creative. If you don't even need a ball, you can pretend. This is a good leg workout too. Kobe.